Shmuel Aleph, 1 Samuel. The date and authorship of 1 Samuel cannot be determined with certainty. Many details and dialogue sections indicate that the author either was an eyewitness or had prophetic insight into the details of the narrative. Since David's death is not recorded until 1 Kings 2.10, one might conclude that the book was composed before his death because of several mentions of Yehuda, Judah, and Israel. However, some scholars believe it was compiled after the nation was divided into the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Yehuda. Yet an argument can be made that other passages appear to distinguish Israel and Yehuda well before the division took place. Although both books bear the name of the prophet Samuel, he may have written only one part of 1 Samuel, because 2 Chronicles 29, 29 mentions the records of Natan, the prophet, and Gad, the seer. Natan, Natan, Nathan, and Gad have also been proposed as contributors to 1 Samuel. The book of 1 Samuel opens with Israel's still under a judgment form of government. Because of the moral failure rampant under the judges, there is need for reform in spiritual and governmental leadership. It had always been God's purpose to establish a kingdom, Deuteronomy 17, 14 through 20, but not for the reasons Israel imagined, 8, chapter 8, verse 5 and 7. God indicates that in transition to a monarchy without repentance and obedience would not heal Israel's ills. Chapter 12, verse 12. Chapter 12, verses 12 through 25. Both Hannah in her opening prayer and David in his closing song understand God to be Israel's deliverer and designate his deliverance as his saving work. In addition, God is viewed as Israel's ultimate king. Chapter 8, verse 7. As such, he intervenes to humble his enemies and raise up the faithful. He will judge those who do not honor him, but will lift up those who do. This truth is played out in the books of First and Second Samuel.